So today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at some solo gameplay of Grey Zone Warfare, a new upcoming extraction open world shooter that I am very excited about. About a week ago, we got to see the official gameplay that IGN dropped, and I was very excited for it. But the biggest question that I had and a lot of you guys had was, what about solo players? Will they be able to enjoy this too? And today, we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay. Acolyte was actually able to go into the game and play the game a little bit early, well, the, the alpha early, and he did it solo. So let's dive into his gameplay and find out what he had to say about it, how he enjoyed it. Let's go. Okay. I think we're all loaded up now. We have everything that we need. Um, I wasn't able to buy the bullets that I currently want to use, the hollow points, which was suggested to me by the developers, but... It's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call in the chopper right now. Cause right now we're at the base camp. So okay, zoom so you out a bit camp. here. And I have two points that I can go to. I can go to Bravo or Bravo, sorry, Bravo one or Bravo two. Landing I, like zone. This. I think I wanna go to Bravo one though. And go in from there. Let's try that. It's actually pretty cool. The map and then like you have two landing zones. So now the heli should come in, but I have I think everything that I need. So this can go out to a one times. Two times to four. I think I'll That's keep it out of four though. Four is pretty good. If if necessary, I can just hip fire point fire up close, right? We'll that, that scope looks nice. It went one, two. I gotta be three, careful four. when I get in there though, because there's not gonna be anybody to revive me at all. So if I if I pass out from lack of blood or anything like that, I'm I'm ruined. But if you see me come back in with a different gun, it's because I died. So, just so you're aware. Oh, that's so cool. They come in and they pick you up. The weapon inspect is actually pretty nice. So when you want to go to an LZ, you have to wait for the, the heli to come one in. Right now. Man, to me, the game looks beautiful. I know some people were saying it didn't look as and good because IGN... And you can get IGN... shot in, in the heli. It is a thing. Get ready. Three, zero seconds. But this looks beautiful, man. Yeah, so I've always went to the other, the other landing zone. I want to try this, though. Approaching from a different angle. I'm so excited to get a chance to play this, man. I wasn't chosen. I'm right part of their creator program, but I wasn't chosen. Um, they only hate chose a, a handful of people. Maybe one day I'll, I'll get a, maybe a little early access. Thank you, Mr. Heli. And he's off. Okay, so where we need to go. Let me crouch down here so I can show you. You can even see the heli on the map there. That's so cool. So I need to come up through over this fence here and kind of make my way down this road. And I believe, I think it's this house here has one of my objectives in it. And then the cell phone, which I'm supposed to be picking up, I think is in this house here. If not this one, closer towards the, uh, towards Bravo 2. But uh, I have two things to pick up. That's what I'm going to go for. And uh, we're going to see if we can do that and then make our way over to another landing zone and we'll go back to base. So it's a pretty easy task, but the difficulty comes with surviving. I will say here. that I like about this is oh, right there, there's a map. Oh. Oh, he's alerted. Nice. Dropped him. Sensitivity is a little bit faster than what I'm used to, so if I miss some headshots, let's just blame it on that. I will say, the one thing I didn't really like about it is AI or no joke, off, though. When I try to get into me it, quite a few times, and if they kill, say if you're, say if you're playing in a group, they kill one of your teammates. Developers told me that they'll get excited in a way, they get confident, and they'll actually push you. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So they become more aggro. About the map, Escape with Tarkov has no map. You're always lost. I like the fact that there is a map here. Like, at least sure you can look at it and see butt. where you are, you know? Know where you need to go. Well, I haven't heard anybody struggle or make any comms yet. 
They occasionally make some voice comments if they hear you. So it's not going to be in this house in particular, but I want to make sure that I can clear this a little bit and then uh, this will give me a tiny bit of an advantage point as well as, oh, you know what? No, oh, I did bring fruit water. Okay, oh, that menu good. That is actually pretty cool. So you can take that. Your character currently goes through that quite fast. Open. I've been told. And I can tell you firsthand, it is definitely true. So it doesn't look like... Uh, it's any AI around me right now. I just don't want to be shot through the brush. That's the worst. Oh yeah, this is the menu here. So I'll show you this, I guess, while I'm here. That's so nice. Got your energy, your blood down here. So if your blood gets to a certain point, you can actually pass out. Let's go and back then, and look uh, at that. Did you guys see low. that? So this is actually pretty cool to see. You see this right here? He has his helmet, his goggles, his primary, the MK-18, his melee weapon, his vest, right? Um, his, his helmet, his mag carrier, and then his book bag. And his book bag has more rounds, which obviously if you guys play any of these types of games, you use these to reload the mags. As you go empty, you just reload them, and then you can just continue firing. Um, you won't carry a bunch of, you won't just have a bunch of mags, you just get the bullets. So we have these drink, water, MRE pretty much. You have a little wafers, like, like a little snack, soda, bandages, and a splint in case he gets injured. Here he has a safe lock, so I'm assuming, just like most of these games, um, the safe lock is an, uh, an item that, like, if you die, you don't lose those items. But I'm not sure, in this game, when you die, do you lose everything on you? That's what I want to know. Yes, because I, I would assume because if a player kills you, they can loot all your stuff. Or if you drop your bag, they can loot it. Kind of like a scam. I'm assuming that's the way it is, and that's what the safe lock is. So you keep this. Then he has his pockets with the grenades in it. Nice. And then it looks like he can fit another primary weapon here in his bag. So this is pretty cool. First time. This is the first time I actually got to see this. Kind of cool to see um how it is. Not crazy, though, compared to what we're used to. Man, Escape from Tarkov, bro. Nah, it's too much. To a certain point, you can actually pass out. And then uh, if it gets too low. And as long as you have somebody on your team next to you, you can actually be revived. And get you out of the coma. Like it's not an actual resurrection. But no. open. If you die, you die. Headshots seem to be dropping in one. one shot. Okay. I know I My watched goal's another. My not going to be to kill every single thing that I see. That's a little... Exactly for that reason. I saw somebody get shot. I did see another Burning gameplay spotted. where they said like the hit detection was a little off. It seems like for this gameplay so far. This guy's right here. A little bit of lag. Yeah, I was going to say I saw the lag too. I thought it was, I was wondering if it was the stream or it was. He was feeling it too, though. Oh, so you can Light see bruise, your mild pain. Okay, so I'm gonna take a painkiller. Two painkillers. Looks like he took. Was this the guy initially shooting at me? I don't think it was. So you can loot him. Got AK stuff. So he has a little me. bag. Thank you very much. Had a bandana. Okay, this gets really hairy. I'll take oh, his AK. Nice. And. Take his mags. Oh. So, yeah, it, so it has a lot of those elements he kind of saw from Escape from Tarkov, but uh, not crazy inventory management. That's the one thing one about on Escape from Tarkov. I bet you that was the guy that was shooting at me. It's, it's too much. There's the chair up there. I think I want. Ooh, one behind that wall there. This as well. MK18 is nice. One tapping these guys. I really got to be taking cover. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, he is just kind of out there. Four times? Oh, six times. Nice. Okay, got him. So 
so I, he has it so nice. like I was saying, I've been through this a few times now, but uh, they always change their positions. They're not always in the same spots. I'm also zeroed up to 100, so I might be aiming a little bit high. Oh. Here we go. Maybe I didn't bring enough ammo. <laughs> Love to be careful. Making good progress here, though. So this was made on Unreal Engine 5. It looks great. It honestly, it just looks so good. I'm not running on max settings because there's a few passes that they need to do for uh, the frame rates, but it's it's looking good. There's also apparently an area with a boss in it, which I've never seen yet. And I'm not going to go and mess around with him because I want to actually try to survive this. Those are the guys he killed. I don't think he, he didn't even check the bodies. Okay, he's gonna push me later for sure. Yeah, it looked like he got shot at. This feels pretty intense, though. I will I say that. Across this, and I'm just watching. This might be the house right here. It is. Okay, we've made it. I believe it's right here. Convict's notepad. There we go. Okay, there's task number one. We also have to get a cell phone. Which is, I believe it's down that way, southeast. Having that map. So we're gonna have to make our way down through kind of the center of the town. Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but you know what? We're going to attempt it anyways. Um, I'm wondering which direction I wanted to like to go from. This might not be bad, but there's a lot of... Oh shoot, he is chasing me. I will say, when he reloads the magazine... I mean, it was sneaky. It's. It seems like it's really quick. I, I like that. Oh, another one. Oh, there's another one. I saw that. Oh, he got to like do that little piece. Of oh, yeah. Wood. If you're wondering, you can penetrate this. He penetrated that. And hit. Oh, got him as well. Nice. He penetrated. I saw that. That's actually pretty nice. See another guy. Wait, where? I think so. All this dense foliage, you have to be very aware of your surroundings. They can come out of anywhere. This guy's gonna run through his ammo. I don't even think about it. I probably should be checking these balconies. Uh, truck down there. Shoot, I don't even see this guy. Where is he at? Right there to your left. I saw him. Right there. Oh, okay, I see them. I think there's two or three. One. I don't see the other one. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got shot. Oh, we finally can see him heal up, maybe? Haven't seen that yet. See what he does. Yeah, let's hide out for a quick second. What do we got? Light bleeding. Hurt. Okay. So bandage, right? Normal bandage should suffice. Oh yeah, also, I didn't even, I didn't even, uh, forgot to uh, talk nice. about this, to be honest. Uh, I got some grenades and stuff down here, as well as my safe lock, um, but I can give myself blood if I absolutely need to. I also have a surgical kit if I hurt myself too much or if someone shoots me, like, in a lung or something, oh, but I can nice. also f fracture my legs or my arm. Excuse you. That's actually really cool. He hurt somebody though. Oh, hey, a little collateral. Okay. You got two for one. Just trying to talk to everybody and uh, explain everything. But yeah, there's there's a bunch of things that I can do. You saw me take the ibuprofen, which <laughs> basically the ibuprofen earlier. You know, this is the notepad that I picked up. And then this is for heavy bleeds. Tourniquet. It's got four uses. And I made sure to bring some extra bandages just in case if I ever actually need them. 
And of course, I got the AK on my back if I absolutely need some more ammo. Uh, that's a worst case scenario, and I really hope it doesn't come down to that. But yeah, my blood seems to be okay right now. I got 5,400. I think if it gets down to 1,800 or something. Oh, we got another one. Is there a guy up there as well? Nope. You know what? It's because I'm zeroed at 100. I gotta aim a little bit lower. So far, we're doing pretty good. I can't complain. I've been shot at a couple times. Took a little bit of damage. We can heal that up, though. Very easy stuff to heal up. I if we can vault this. Oh, man. Of course we can. Yeah, okay. I know where I am now. There's a... The house is over there that we need to go to. Get the phone. Located the supermarket. Very nice. He had, he had like a little achievement found supermarket. Oh, this guy. Spotted him. Oh, another one. Oh. Another one spotted me. Oh, he ran to the right. Oh, that guy. Gotta be very working. careful here if he gets too close. Shot for that leg. exact reason okay again light bleeding we're fine oh actually I can show you this now so if I hold 4 press H oh it needs to be in my, my pockets there so hold 4 press H and then I scroll down and I press F on bandage I can use it that through that oh, menu there so like a little quick menu instead of going into your inventory but it can't be in your backpack. It has to be in your pockets or your chest rig. Something you can quickly access. Mm, doesn't look like anybody's around. Wonder if spawn one can spawn inside. What do you guys think about this so far? Are you guys? Are you guys? Liking what you're seeing? Okay, nobody's here. And here's the phone. So we got the smart Beautiful. Phone. Nice extract. Okay, the task is done then. I just need to make it back to base. Can I climb this? Of course we can. Of course we can. Why am I even asking that question? Just gotta get to the LZ. There's another one right there. Oh, he's missing some shots. Yeah, I can't be messing with this guy in a little head peek area like that. I don't think that's going to work. I have a better idea. No way. Oh, that was a bad nade to bounce off the tree. How you like that? Oh, now they know he's here. Oh, okay, right we're here. So now all I have to do is click on the base camp and call transport. That's kind of cool. I like that. And hope that there's no AI down here just waiting to beam me out of the helicopter. What do you guys Shouldn't think about this? What do you guys now? think about this? I think this gameplay was way better than the one that IGN posted. Look, look at the way it moves the trees even. Also, that happens with uh, the gas from your gun. So if you were to shoot near any trees oh, or foliage, that so cool. that's what happens. Yeah, I gotta know what you guys think about this. I, I'm super high. After seeing this gameplay, I am very So if hyped. I was PvPing against somebody right now, it, there's a very good chance they could be shooting at me from the brush over there in the trees, and we'd be able to see that. That's cool. But yeah, that's where we guys are going to wrap this up. Hey, let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about this game? Um, after seeing this... I'm 100% very excited for this. I'm very excited for this game, especially since I, I do run solo a lot. Sometimes I, I don't have my team. I want to run solo and, and seeing this guy being able to do that um, and just imagine other players out there. You have to watch out for everything. It's going to be, it's gonna be a, a fun experience. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to see the original video, it will be in the description. Hey, nothing but skills out.